How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a health question. Spine manipulation therapy has been around for over a century. Used predominantly by chiropractors and physiotherapists, it involves a pop or crack somewhere in the spinal column with the main goal of restoring or enhancing joint function. But there are a lot of skeptics out there who believe that this form of therapy is nothing but quackery. So which side is right? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. The literature surrounding spine manipulation therapy is very divided. Many studies advocate for its effectiveness, but a collection of literature claims that this type of therapy is as effective as doing nothing. One article that jumped out at me was a 2012 review from the Cochrane Collaboration. These guys have a very strong reputation in the scientific community. They examined studies looking at the effects of SMT for acute lower back pain. When all was said and done, they concluded that SMT was no more effective than sham SMT or when added to another intervention. Despite these rather unsupportive results, Another review article was published two years later and found moderate to strong evidence in favor of SMT. It's difficult to come to a concrete conclusion on whether or not SMT is effective just by glancing at the literature. But during my search, I did notice a very interesting trend. Let's take a closer look. While I browsed through the literature that supported SMT, I noticed that almost every article had one thing in common. I couldn't find one study that either wasn't written by a chiropractor or wasn't published in a chiropractic journal. I am not suggesting that chiropractors are not capable of writing brilliant scientific literature, but I can't help but think that the researchers in this particular case might be biased and hoping for results to be skewed in favor of SMT. Bias is a concern for many different types of scientific studies. So to combat this, researchers will often employ a double-blind technique. A double-blind study is one in which neither the participants nor the experimenters know who is receiving a particular treatment. As a result, bias is much less likely to occur. I couldn't find a study supporting SMT that also used double-blind methodology. So although results from these studies may have been valid, by not using a double-blind methodology, it definitely puts a seed of doubt in my mind regarding the true effectiveness of SMT. So is spine manipulation therapy an effective treatment? It's hard to make an objective decision based on the scientific literature alone, and some of the methodology used by certain studies is questionable. But despite my skepticism, I do believe it is an effective way to temporarily restore range of motion to your spine if you are in any way limited. Once you're moving, regular core strengthening and stretching is going to have a greater effect on keeping you mobile and pain-free than back cracking ever will. But what do you guys think? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and stay strong.